between infants and adults is that when you check responsiveness, you want to tap them on the foot, not on like, the shoulders, because that's where they're going to be most receptive to respond to the tests. Um, as you can see on the mannequin, their heads go back really far. They're disproportionately big for their body. So um, because of that, they don't have the muscles yet to be able to keep their head up. And especially if they're unconscious, they're not going to be able to do that. And when it goes back like this, it actually closes off their airway. So when you want to open their airway, you don't want to do like a really extreme head tilt. It shouldn't look like you do for the adult. You only want to tilt it a little bit. And you can kind of the best way to do that is put something little, like a little pad under, um, like the abdominal pad to have an ambulance in the jump kit, under the shoulders or a towel or something like that. And that should open the airway enough to work. Um, and then when you're doing two person CPR, you do the 15 to 2. <laughs> no, I think she's being sad for a while. <laughs> um, okay, so first, you know, I check for responsiveness by tapping the foot or then one step. Um, listen, feel for breathing, check pulse on the other. Okay. Oh, very cool. For the next seconds, um, activate emergency response system on the other. Um, and then start, or as Emily said, Thank you. 